Doctor, let's, you have a book that's uh, titled The Hypothyroid Diet. Can you just explain what hypothyroidism is? It's tough to say. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> you know, hypothyroidism, typically the medical community looks at hypothyroidism and the definition of hypothyroidism is having low thyroid hormone. And a lot of people recognize this as, well, the thyroid's just not producing enough thyroid hormone, which in fact, that's not the case. Most people do have enough thyroid hormone. The body's making enough thyroid hormone, but for some reason, thyroid hormone is just not getting into the cells or into the tissues of the human okay. body. And so, you know, when we look at hypothyroidism, it may not be that just the thyroid is malfunctioning. There's a lot of different factors that come mm -hmm. into play as why people are symptomatic or have symptoms of hypothyroidism. So what are they? I mean, how does somebody know that that might be an issue? It is, there's a laundry list of symptoms. So the main ones are fatigue, weight gain, depression. So if you take someone off the street, they come in the office, right, they're talking to a physician, they uh -huh. say, well, I have weight gain, I have tired, and, you know, I'm feeling a little down and out. I mean, that could be a number of different yeah. conditions. So that's one of the reasons why it's often misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed. But from there, you could be infertile, so infertility, high okay. menstruation for, uh, for women, aches and pains, you lose your hair, hmm. low libido, dry hair, skin, nails, talked about depression, high cholesterol, cold hands and feet. In fact, there's, a, there's something we call a positive sock sign because most people that have hypothyroidism wear socks to bed at night because they're so cold. Huh. Because what it's doing essentially is bringing the, the metabolic rate of the body down. And so typically these, these folks are very, very cold. Okay. So the thing is it affects every cell in the human body. It's in every cell, so it affects all the different organ systems, all the different glands in the body, and that's why there's so many different symptoms. It's, everything just slows down. And so we talk about slowing down, that's when, when the weight gain comes in, when the fatigue comes in, you don't have enough energy, people get constipated because the GI tract is just not functioning as well, liver function slows down, uh, so you get a buildup of toxins in the body so people can get brain fog. Um, it goes on and on and on. So if that's not treated or, or or looked at what happens down the road if someone lets this go? Now, it's not a good thing. Um, typically, some, two of the biggest problems with it is it leads to heart disease, hmm. heart attacks, strokes, and you have an increased incidence for cancer. So if you don't treat it, there are some serious issues that, you know, that can arise if it's not treated correctly. Hmm. Um, you know, I mean, people become diabetic. We just think about what happens when the body slows down and the buildup of toxins and you're, you're not burning the fuel and you can't think and you know, all these different symptoms start to pop up and you get other conditions that really start to arise because of hypothyroidism. And I get that question all the time. It's like, well, I have this going on. Can it be because of hypothyroidism? I'm like, sure, we, we can't rule it out. Mm. So if you can fix that, I mean, if you can fix hypothyroidism, you can fix a lot of different problems.